Hello friends, welcome back again. In this video, I will explain you how we can use the timers in XNG PLC. So let's get started. First of all, we will open our XNG XC series program tool and after we can create the new project. Just click it on the file after you can click it on the new project here you can select your plc which is model you have you can select it from here if xc1 models you have you can select from here if you have xc2 also you can select from here xc3 there's are many models which model you have you can select so i have this xc242 so i will select this one and this window will be appear okay and after next you have to be choose one internal memory bit for example m0 i will choose that's my first internal memory bit also i choose can be possible for the uh, physical input addresses x0 x1 x2 any you can choose that's not issue by i will choose this one internal memory m0 and after you have to be choose the timer just only type the tmr after you will get the timer bit after which number you have to be use the timer of for an example t0 to t0 t1 t2 up to t100 t250 for an example i choose this one t100 so and next you have to be give the time for how much time you have to be use this uh, for this timer for example i need k50 50 i will choose and click it ok and your timer will be ready and next you can choose the open contact of the this timer for an example this is I am using T0 sorry T100 timer I am using click enter and after you have to be choose the output for an example I need Y0 so I will click it Y0 it's very simple and easy method you can select this all now our one timer is ready and this is 50 seconds we put the time and click it on the download just click ok and your program will be start downloading if plc is running mode after you first your plc will be stop go into the stop mode after your program will be downloaded and after you can click it on the run motion when you click it on the run mode after your plc will be shown in the corner run scan cycle it will be running means also in camera if you see i will show you this is here one indication is running which is the at the plc that's the run command downside is error in center this is the run and upside is power when i click it on this one this one button stop for example and here you can see now it's showing the stop mode but when you see in the camera after you can see there is also in stop mode this red, red indication will be finished so as again i will press this one and after you can see now our plc is in the running mode okay so now we have to be start our timer so i will click it on the m0 and make it on and but before start this timer i will show you the monitoring section in the your timer value when you like to see the timer value you have to be click it on the t and after you will find your just just timer okay this is the t0 you have to be see the t100 you can write it here also and you can write the t100 and click enter and t100 will be placed it here and when you start your timer and uh, this is monitoring yeah this is monitoring you can see here is timer is running and as this time will be completed 50 seconds after you can see your output is on and as well i will click in the off button your timer will be off
but this t time t hundred timer is the retentive timer, so it's not close. Even if you like to be close this timer, you first close this one, and you have to be use t zero or t ten also can be used. No problem. This is later on. I will explain you how we can use the retentive timers and how we can choose the non-retentive timers. So again, click to the run mode, and this is time is fifty is okay. And when you make it on, and ladder monitoring. Sorry, this ladder monitoring, and this one. T zero, we can search it here. Also, you can write it from here, and now you can see timer is running. And as this, again, I will stop this one, and again, I will make it on, and you can see our timer is starting, and fifty milliseconds will be completed. Our output will be on. But so, what's the mistake we make? We make it here. Upside we timer number we changed, but here we not change the timer number. So you have to be change the here also. T zero. And after click enter and again download into the PLC. After your output will be working according to your timer. Okay, click it on the run mode, and again click it on the M zero when it's on. Fifty seconds will be will will be completed. Your output will be on. You can see our output is now on. And also in the in the, also in our physical PLC and physical hardware, I will show you in the camera. And also you can see this is my Y zero is connected my first input output. Sorry. And after it will be run. So I will make it on. I will little make it small because you will see the camera. You can make it here, no problem. This we will be one second. I will just make. More closer because it will be see the line. Now, when I make it this one on M zero is on timer is started, and our first indication Y zero will be started. You can see our Y zero is now on, and when I make it this one off, after our output will be off. That's also you can use it here X zero if you need to be. Like we just go hit here, and in the edit section you can make it insert row, and here you can write the just this again one x zero for example first input you can choose and just connect with the line and again download to the PLC, and after your output will be also physical input. Also, you will be use and make it on, and your PLC is now in run mode. And as I will press this one, my first input, you can see our X zero is on, and as our time will be completed, you can see our output Y zero is now on. And as I remove this button, after your output will be off. So hope guys, you will be understand how we can use the timer. in the xmj plc if not understand anything you can send me the message in comment section i will give you feedback as soon as possible so thanks for watching allah hafiz